Hey everyone, uh, welcome to our Deck to Check webinar. Uh, we're going to preview our new uh, fundraising CRM as well as the crowdsource investor database that we're building. Uh, so thanks again for taking time out of out of your day to join us. Uh, this series of, of webinars is fairly new to us. We've been doing them regularly at least once a month for the, for the better part of the last four or five months now. Uh, we have some great guests coming on in May, so excited to announce those to you all pretty soon. Today you're just stuck with me. I uh, was forced to put a shirt on, do my hair, but uh, hey, it's a great parsing function to, to clean myself up. Uh, and, and so excited to just to jump right in. Uh, my name is Mike Proust. For those of you that I do not know, uh, my uh, I started Visible back uh, back in 2014, uh, and, and it, the company since grown and evolved where we're not only helping companies write great investor updates, but managing that full life cycle relationship with, with all of their investors. Uh, and and it, all of the news about Visible, you can just follow me on Twitter at Mike Bruce. Uh, we'll, we share the latest happenings there of, of what's going on with the company, tips, tricks, uh, everything kind of happening in the in the early stage funding markets. Um, so enough about me. Uh, any questions? Feel free to write into the Zoom chat, uh, hashtag Visible Webinars uh, on Twitter, or email Matt at visible.vc. Uh, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try to keep this webinar to a tight twenty. Uh, and so we're going to respond to those after the fact. So any particular questions, we'll just email you directly. Feel free to feel free to write in, and we'll take care of that. Uh, this is also being uh, recorded, so you will be able to get access to this after the fact. Uh, review any material that I might have covered. I talk pretty quick, uh, so we'll send you the recording as well uh, after we're done here. But today, really all about best practices for fundraising, uh, really the process behind it, how you can leverage Visible to do so, uh, some other great pieces of content that, that we love here on the team. Uh, so we're gonna cover uh, our new fundraising CRM that I mentioned, uh, the pipeline stages and what works best for you and in, in your process. Uh, how do you think about rating investors? What investors do you wanna find and in, 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 in be part of your fundraise? Uh, and leveraging our new database that I mentioned. So we're gonna give everyone here uh, direct access to that database. Uh, it's very much a prototype right now, but we're super excited to share it with you uh, and every, all of the great features and functionality that that has. Uh, but just to kind of put yourself in, in a mindset and, and frame your thinking uh, around fundraising, whether this is your first one, second one, or, or third, and so forth, uh, is really, I find this for myself going through this, and, and certainly a lot of our customers and, and other founders I talk to is that Fundraising is a process. It's a full-time job, uh, and it needs to be treated as such. It can't be, uh, you know, treated as something you can do on the side or kind of fundraise, kind of do the business. You need to be all in when you are fundraising for your business because momentum is key. And as you build momentum, you'll create yourself a competitive process, have multiple people at the table, because ultimately that's when uh, investors are incentivized to move fast and offer you better deals. Is when more people are at the table, and to do that, you need to build a process uh, and create momentum. Uh, and so I think that's just really important to iterate and, and put yourself in that mindset uh, because when you are fundraising, it is, should be everything you're thinking about. How am I going to get intros, pitch, uh, process? Uh, and so just putting that, that in place and in, in, in perspective. Uh, and then next is uh, one of these articles that I love, I always keep coming back to and it's probably have stolen and paraphrased a lot from it. Uh, First Round Capital uh, put together a, a great fundraising article. I'm going to share this with everyone after. Uh, in our write-up, but it's this fundraising wisdom, and they give this great analogy about treating your fundraising process like sets, like surfing. Uh, if you have 100 investors you're trying to put through a process uh, and, and that are gonna be part of your raise, don't do all 100 at the same time, right? You might have 100 in mind, but if you put everything through the same process at the same time, uh, and through your pitch and fundraising process, you might learn Hey, we have a lot of questions and the pitch is kind of clunky here or people are getting hung up on X. Uh, you've, you've basically burned all of those investors. You can't iterate, refine and go back to a new well of investors. You already used them up just like surfing. So you want to think about, you know, maybe I put a cohort of investors through a process, learn, iterate, another cohort, learn, iterate, another cohort, learn and iterate. Uh, and so that's going to give you time to refine everything, improve, iterate uh, and, and really create the most optimal process. That way, by the time you are in that second cohort or third cohort uh, of investors, uh, you have the process nailed and you really understand the dynamics and, and how everything is shaping up. Or uh, maybe the first cohort's great and, and, and you know you only have to run through that one. So uh, again, uh, I think if you treat them and batch them in, as a cohort, you're gonna have a, a much more uh, competitive and, and better process. Uh, so tracking your race. Visible had an offsite in the fall 
and we were talking about the future of the company and, and really our mission is how do we give companies a better chance of success? Even if that's just like a 1% better chance, I think we have fulfilled our mission. And we looked pretty hard at the lens of, of investor communication and updates, which is our bread and butter historically and said, you know, where do we go next? And for us, all of our customers, you know, fundraising. Uh, you can almost see in, in our data when a company is fundraising because maybe updates start to slow or just have a ton of pain around it. And so we're thinking through, all right, how can we give a, be a founder a better way to be top of mind for investors all of the time? And how can we let them manage that fundraising process in a more efficient way? And so we sat down, talked about a CRM, took some inspiration from great tools in the market, uh, but just want to have a completely vertical solution where I can find investors, engage those investors, uh, put them through a fundraising process, and hopefully they become investors and I can then update them, uh, and rinse and, and, and repeat. And so we built out to build uh, and test that, which is the, the fundraising product we have today, uh, but it is something that our whole team is working on and we'll be investing in the rest of this quarter, the rest of this year, it will be a pinnacle product for Visible going forward. Uh, so again, feel free to write in questions. We'd love to answer them. Uh, best place is through email. We'll get back to you. Feel free to write them here in Zoom as well, and we'll make sure to answer all your questions. But I uh, want to jump into the, the product now and just walk you through that, that fundraising product that we've built. So within Visible, uh, you know, you'll see this beta tag here with the fundraising uh, pipeline. And the first thing you want to do is simply start a pipeline. So I'm going to pretend that I'm raising a seed round of capital and I am raising a million dollars. So I'm going to create my pipeline here. Once you create it, uh, we give you a shell. Uh, this is completely customizable to you and, and how you want to run your fundraising process. Uh, but we give you a shell with some predefined stages like research, who have I contacted, who am I meeting with, who am I going to light diligence. But again, everyone is certainly certain different in how they run their process uh, and the stages that matter to them. And so if you come up here, you can click uh, edit fundraising details. My apologies, manage stages. And this is where I can customize all of those stages. So maybe uh, one of those stages is requesting intro. I can add that stage in, move that up, and maybe that's going to be before meeting, uh, or even maybe before contacted, right? So I'm requesting an intro, and those are contacted. And maybe I actually want to um, add on another uh, tab that is full diligence. So I can add that in, and I'm going to put that in after partner meeting. And I can come in here and change any of the colors around and uh, how I want this to actually look. But And maybe, uh, you know, I want to get rid of the keep in touch. I don't, I don't really care about that for mine. I can do that. And now I have my, my stages customized here, so you can see all of those. It's pretty quick, easy to add someone. So I can say, great, let's just click here and get started. I'm going to add Mike's fund. And we have some fields here that we think are important for pretty much everyone's fundraise, regardless of what type of fundraise you're running, what stage um, amount, pretty simple. Uh, so how much should we talk about Mike? What is, their, what is their check size sweet spot? How much are they interested in investing in my company? Uh, what is the rating of that investment? You know, how, how good do they feel uh, about us? How good do we feel about them? This is fairly ambiguous in terms of how customers are using it, which is how we intended, uh, but really it's just, what is my gut feeling about that relationship, right? Um, next follow-up, when, when, when do I need to make sure I'm following up with them and who provided the intro? I'm gonna say um, Jill provided the intro here. And we initially first spoke on, on April 1st. We can track those metrics. So again, really easy to customize. I can start moving people through my pipeline here. I can come and maybe I wanna add a bunch of investors. And I'm just gonna say A16Z benchmark and 500 startups, for example, and we'll add YC. Don't want to leave them out. Uh, you can then, to great, add these all to my research stage. We'll create a bunch of investors for you. Uh, if I click in to one of these funds now, one of the things that you can do is create contacts or sync to your existing ones. So if I start typing for my, oh, my name here, you can see Mike already exists, invisible. If I click edit, you can see he's on a potential um, potential investor list, I'm just gonna click save. So we could take any of your existing investors and, and connect them here, or you can create brand new ones. What that's gonna allow you to do is track all of their activity over time, uh, as well as uh, allow you to send them updates, right? So again, be top of mind and setting those out. Uh, in the notes section, this is where, this is completely customizable. 
uh, based on the text editor that if you're using Visible, you've seen this in updates before. Uh, but again, you can just capture what do we talk about? Maybe what questions do they have? Concerns do they raise? What are my next steps? Um, you know, what do I need to do next? So this uh, is, is customizable. I can come and attach files. I can um, and add that. So if you're familiar with the update editor, uh, you'll be familiar with uh, this notes section here. Uh, so that's notes and contacted. I'm going to move back here to my uh, oops uh, to my fundraising pipeline, and I'm going to go in and uh, just kind of quickly move some people through. In one second, I'm just going to add a couple of things here just for the purpose of this demo. Where great, I have a bunch of people in. One of the things you can do is actually just filter so everyone three stars and up or next follow update. Let me sort by that. So we let you sort and filter search all here. Uh, super easy. So you can see it's lightweight, but useful. Uh, and this is where we're gonna be investing just a ton of time and resources. So, uh, you know, providing analytics back to you, letting you check events and, and things within the CRM itself. Uh, a big one of those is uh, data entry and just getting insights into investors. Like how do we let you do that? Uh, and that's going to be with the crowdsource database that we're building. Um, so we're starting to see this already and we have literally someone full time working on this project right now uh, it's 7,000 investors uh, primarily early stage these are all funds uh, primarily er earlier stage funds everyone from accelerators growth funds though uh, with different check sizes and what we want to do is just surface who should I be thinking about for my round and building relationships with who's right for me uh, and we find that that's uh, a lot of the same kind of properties right it's what stages what check sizes what location are they agnostic do they have a thesis maybe around location hey we're only going to do um, uh, companies in the west coast or midwest or western europe or the uk um, so we're trying to capture all of those will they lead around right a lot of people uh investors said call me when you have a lead all right well who are the people we know leading rounds right um that's something we want to capture um who's going to co-invest who's taking board seats um what's their thesis uh what focus do they have are they enterprise SaaS, b2b consumer uh, fintech, insure tech, like capturing all of that so you can find great um, insure tech investors in the Midwest who are doing seed investing. Who are those? Who should I be thinking about? Um, we'll also capture other information like fund type. Are they strategic? Are they a part of an alumni group? Maybe I went to college somewhere that has uh, a special fund that's going to invest in those founders. Uh, linking to their Twitter and LinkedIn, obviously. Um, and so we're, we're grabbing this data uh, openly. So anyone that has an open list. Um, that's sharing it publicly. We'll ask for their permission, merge it in, provide attribution. Uh, we will get this data directly from investors themselves providing this, uh, as well as we have people on our team going out and scouring for, for more access and more data. Uh, and so you can see here, the, the level of data varies, uh, but we have over 7,600 records and growing, and our goal here is to have the most accurate real-time snapshot about what makes an investor tick and giving that to the to founders. That's one thing I want to share. We're gonna share that with everyone. Um, after the uh, demo in, in webinar today. Um, so you'll have access to this. This is going to be its actual own product and resource on our website that you can use. Right now, Airtable is just serving as kind of the GUI backend. Uh, but then we also will be connecting this and wiring this up to the fundraising product. So if I'm searching for um, High Alpha, for example, or Mike's Fund, uh, we'll provide all of those insights back, as well as let you add in these people directly to your pipeline so you can automate a lot of that, that data entry because it's going to be the same for pretty much every company. Now, with the fundraising CRM we talked about, we have the open source database that we're building. Um, the last piece is, great, how do I use maybe my current investor update or, or version thereof uh, to nurture potential investors? Uh, and so I want to point out in um, Visible on our website, when we, again, we'll, we'll link this in the follow-up slash templates on our marketing website. We have some great templates to help you get started particularly with fundraising and some different uh, templates that you can use. So maybe I want to use, maybe I'm raising a series A, here's a series A uh, potential uh, template. I'm just going to click get this template here and we can let you load this directly into your account right into Visible. So uh, we give you some little help text, I can remove those and I can come in and start connecting to any of my different data sources. So maybe one of those is page views here. And with page views, you know, I want to customize the color. I want that to be a line chart. I won't go through all the bells and whistles in terms of how this works today. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and quickly put some data together and weekly. And, uh, you know, maybe this is expected season, season now. I'm going to 
add that in, right? Uh, you can see where COVID happened, um, COVID, and annotate these charts. So um, easy to, to add charts. You know, uh, I'll make sure to link to some to some helpful chart things. Put these together. Send this out. Who I'm going to send this to? Uh, my potential investor list, right? So makes it easy to stay top of mind. That's one thing we hear from investors all of the time, right? Think about how many current portfolio companies are supporting potential hires or helping with um, potential customer conversations. On top of that, all of the fundraising activity and deal flow that they're seeing, just staying top of mind is hard to do as a founder. And you can't do that if you're not actively and proactively communicating with them. And you want to help connect these lines um, and, and with you know those dots to lines as, as the, the, speak, uh, the adage goes. So that, you know, when you are fundraising or actively fundraising, you're just kind of nurturing, right? And just staying top of mind with those investors over time. Uh, and so that's where, where updates really helps in and, and connects to the fundraising product. Um, and so that's, uh, I, again, we will make sure to resource, or sorry, link to those resources. But those are some of the tools we're building for fundraising. Would love your feedback. Would love you jump in and using them. Like I said, uh, we set out to build both the crowdsource database and the investor CRM. We built it in a couple of weeks. Uh, collectively as a team at our offsite, launching it uh, to the world. Uh, would love to have you use it, experience it in something that's going to be a, a pinnacle product in future virus going forward. Uh, so again, thank you for the time. Uh, we'll send all this in the recap to you. Promise I want to keep this to a tight 20 minutes and we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.